What to do about the rising price of prescription drugs in Utah? Today, a panel of state senators voted to do nothing as they killed an ambitious bill that would seek to import lower-priced drugs from Canada. Here's how the bill died today. Thank you, Mr. Chair and members of the committee. Big Pharma sent in the big guns today. The senior policy director for the Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers Association raised three objections. One, it might be illegal to import drugs from Canada. Any drugs that were intended for another country, even Canada, and their gold standard regulatory system would not be... Um, uh, compliant with the U.S. track and trace system. Two, Canadian pharmacies might not have enough drugs to share. We've had um, Canadian supplier associations come out saying that they would be unlikely able to um, to bear the demand of uh, U.S. consumption. And three, if Americans don't pay higher prices, a lot of drugs might not be available. 88% of drugs launch in the U.S., only 49% of drugs launch in Canada. No one on the panel challenged any assertions, questioned any supposition or took issue with any veiled threats. One committee member spoke. The senator and pharmacy owner-operator from Cedar City, Evan Vickers, offered a condolence speech and dealt the death blow to the bill. I know you've been working on it for a couple of years, and I know that you've put a lot of effort into it. I just, I just don't see it happen. What went wrong for your bill in that hearing? Well, this is a, a scary concept for some people, for people who are in the industry, because they are worried about what might go wrong. But remember, what, it's not like the system today is perfectly safe. We have 45 million Americans who are not getting the medicines they need because of the cost. Mm -hmm. Frankly, it was hardly a hearing at all, Emily. House Bill 267 was dead on arrival, you could tell. Any amendments offered? Any alternatives offered? The short answer is no, nothing from nobody. Okay. Yeah. What happens to the fact that right. there needs to be an effort to get Utah's access? Well, you know, it's never over till it's over, says Representative Thurston. He says he'll meet with Senator Vickers or try to and try to work out some sort of compromise legislation to put in front of the full body of the legislature uh, before the session ends. He's got about a week to try to get that done.